good. I'm back again with another video and today I'm gonna show you guys how to style the color pink. Fun fact you guys, uh, pink is actually my favorite color. A lot of people incorrectly think that pink is difficult to wear because it's kind of hard to like match and like pair with other pieces. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys that that is not correct. This video is sponsored by Forever 21. So in the month of October, Forever 21 actually has a charitable partnership with Girls Inc. Now, Girls Inc. is a nonprofit organization that provides resources and mentorship to girls of all ages, colors, races, ethnicities, economic backgrounds. A lack of resources and mentorship are two things that I think really plagued a lot of communities, especially low income communities or at risk communities. Um, I went to high school in Long Beach, California and Long Beach is a very, not only like a ethnically or racially diverse city, but it's also economically diverse, like very, very economically diverse. And I have witnessed firsthand um, how beneficial and powerful uh, like after school programs or like mentorship programs like sports and like all these other different programs. I have witnessed firsthand how beneficial of an impact these type of programs have on a community. So I am super happy to be partnering with Forever 21 and Girls Inc. on this video. Forever 21 will donate $1 to Girls Inc. for every pink item bought on Wednesdays in the month of October. And in honor of that, I'm going to show you guys how to wear in style pink. So let's get started. So let's start with a little color theory. So pink is essentially a combination of red and white. Remember back in elementary school, you have red paint and you add white to it, you create pink. And guess what? Two colors that look really good with pink are white and red. <laughs> Don't believe me, just watch. Boom, check it out, folks. Look at this. Who said that pink was difficult to style? I never said that because it's not the truth. We're gonna talk about this top in a second, but I want you guys to focus on pants real quick. So you see how seamlessly or how like cohesive this matches? That is in part because they have a similar undertone. So this red right here has a very, very cool undertone and this pink right here is more of a fuchsia kind of color. So it also has like a cooler type of undertone. When you start mixing undertones when you're trying to color match, you veer into very tricky territory. It's the same thing with makeup, you know? So if you wear like a blood orange type of red and then you pair it with like a very fuchsia type of pink, it won't necessarily look the best because they are two completely different undertones. Now, the top that I'm wearing has kind of like more of a neutral undertone, so it still matches um, with the pink and the red on the pants, and I think that's what makes it look so phenomenal. But on the pants themselves, um, there's definitely a cool undertone on the pink and definitely a cool undertone on the red, and I'm pretty sure whoever designed these pants did that intentionally like they completely knew what they were doing um, when they decided which colors to use for these pants so even though this is like a kind of like a neutral undertone pink I'm going to show you a different outfit with these pants and I'm going to show you how well the pink on this outfit matches with these pants okay so boom so I switched out the pink um, bodysuit for a white one and then I threw this pink hat on top so that it match matches the pink on the pants. Now, the reason why I think that this outfit in particular works better is because the pink here and the pink on the pants are exactly the same type of pink. They have um, the same undertone, they're a similar shade, and I think that it just looks a little bit more cohesive. So while I still liked the other outfit a lot like I still like the way that it looked I think that this one just looks a little bit more cohesive you know what I'm saying so I just want to show you guys oh so I just want to show you guys the color comparison so you see how this pink has a very like cool undertone well so does the pink on the pants so when you put them next to each other they look like the same color and when you wear them in the same outfit it just looks more intentional and cohesive and put together. So that's tip number one for styling pink. 
And then I'm going to pair this outfit with these white LA girl uh, sneakers. These are also from Forever 21. Um, everything that I'm wearing is from Forever 21. Even the top that I showed in the first look, that was from Forever 21 as well. As you can see, they kind of have like that patent leather um, type of material, so these are gonna be super easy to clean. Um, and I just like them because they completely match the whole outfit. But yeah, I love these sneakers. They just look so cool, and they match like the sporty type of vibe of the outfit because they're, you know, they're sneakers, so... Or trainers, as they would say over in the UK. White is another phenomenal color to match with pink because white is essentially pink's mommy. White especially looks good with pastel pinks or like light colored pinks because white is also a light color so light and light it just matches a little bit better. So I paired this super cute white houndstooth skirt with a white turtleneck and also white boots to make the outfit look a little bit more like cohesive and very clean you know what I'm saying like oh it just looks so cute I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. A cream or like a white or a, like a light gray um, generally tends to look best with pastel or light colored pinks. I am obsessed with this outfit, oh my God. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> So um, while I was putting outfits together for this video, I knew that I wanted to wear a hat with this outfit, but I didn't want to wear like a basic like black baker boy hat because number one, I have two of them already. And number two, like, I don't know, I didn't want to be basic. I wanted to have like a little bit more fun, especially with like this print. So I was browsing forever21.com and I found this hat. It's so cool because it's black and white, so it still matches the outfit, but it also is houndstooth. So the houndstooth pattern on the hat also matches the houndstooth pattern on the skirt. This hat just takes it there, you know what I'm saying? So not only are we playing within the color scheme of this outfit, but we're also playing with the pattern on the skirt, which I thought was really fun. But yeah, that is another tip for styling pink. Outfit number three. This is like my super cool like badass Cali girl type of outfit. So I'm wearing this white bodysuit that was also seen in the first look with the Wilson like red pants because as we know why it matches with pink but you know what also matches with pink? Black. We all know that black matches with everything. I got these faux leather shorts from Forever 21 actually, but I bought them five jillion years ago. So I'll try to link like a similar pair down below. And then this chain was actually a part of another pair of pants that I own, but I just detached them and attached them to my shorts for this outfit because I think it just matches like the badass, like cool girl vibes. You know what I'm saying? And of course, this denim jacket how cool is this jacket and look at the back boom oh my gosh I love this jacket so much <laughs> and then we've got the same LA girl sneakers right here um don't mind these socks <laughs> And then I um, switched out those socks for these like crew socks and then of course gotta have the glasses and I look very like back to the future like, you know in Back to the Future 2 when Marty went to 20... Oh my gosh, I think he went to the year 2015. <laughs> well, anyway, the point is he went to the future and I feel like if I was living in that universe, I would be wearing this exact outfit. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I love it. But I just want to show you another like color difference. I want to show you the difference in the pinks. So, you know how this jacket is a very very fuchsia pink, so it has a very strong, cool undertone to it. Well, if you look at the houndstooth skirt that I was just wearing in the previous outfit, you can see that the pink here is very warm, it has a very warm undertone. So if I tried to match this outfit together, it really wouldn't work the best because the undertones of the pink are completely, completely different. So just wanted to show you guys an example, another example of cool versus warm undertone. Now let's put everything that we just learned into practice, shall we? Check out this look, yes! So we paired a like light colored um, pink corduroy skirt 
with a light colored top. So as you can see, we're looking very collegiate and I paired it with my white boots because you know it just looks a little bit more cohesive and clean you know what I'm saying we look super cozy ready for fall um, but I also really love this sweater it's made so well actually I was really surprised when it came in the mail and now we're going to style this with a red top are you guys ready for this are you really ready for it I don't think you are boom this is how you successfully style red with this skirt. Now, the reason why this works is because of the undertone. So the undertone of this red sweater is very, very warm. And the undertone of this skirt is also very, very warm. This is more of like a, like a corally pink type of color. So when you have warm undertone and warm undertone, it just works and I really love the um, knit detailing here if you watched my decluttering sweaters video you know that this is like my favorite type of sweater because it's like a chunky knit and also has like a, a crew neck or like a mock neck style um, neckline so that's really cool because it's not a boat neck which is not my favorite. And I just really, really love um, the way the skirt and the sweater looks on top of each other. It looks very cozy, but it's still very like cute, intentional, and put together. And then I've also paired this with my white boots just because it just brings the whole look together. So yeah, those are my tips for styling the color pink. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time.